Welcome to We Are Reading Virtual Storytime for the week of February 26, 2023, Part 1. This week's theme is Fairy Tales. Spot the Cat, On With the Show, based on the creation of Rob Scotton. Text by Annie Arbach, cover art by Rick Farley, and interior art by Lauren Brantz. Splat and his classmates were getting ready to perform the school play Cinder Paws. Backstage was a flurry of fur as the cats put on their costume. Splat was so excited to be performing, he had butterflies in his tummy. Let the show begin, announced Mrs. Wimpy Dimple. The curtain rose and the lights grew bright. Kitten, dressed as Cinder Paws, was busy sweeping the floor. Poor Cinder Paws. Her stepmother and stepsisters were very mean to her. Clean the floor! Sew this dress! Clean the floor again! When a royal ball was announced, Cinder Paws was left at home. She cried and cried. Suddenly, there was a puff of smoke and her fairy godmouse appeared. It was really Seymour. The fairy godmouse magically changed Cinder Paws' rags into a beautiful dress. Next, the mice were changed into horses. They pulled a grand carriage to the ball. Backstage, Spike was changing too. There was a big problem. Spike was about to make his grand entrance as Paw Prince Charming, but he had stage fright. I can't go on. I'm not feeling well. I've got a bad case of the spots, wailed Spike. He pointed at some purple spots on his face. Oh dear, said Mrs. Wimpy Dimple. What will we do? Suddenly, Kitten had an idea. What about Splat? He could play Spike's role. Splat's tail wiggled with worry. He wasn't sure he could do it. Splat looked at Kitten smiling at him. He didn't want to disappoint her, so with all his courage, Splat said yes, he'd play the part. A quick costume change, and Splat was now Paw Prince Charming. The costume wasn't exactly a perfect fit, though. The royal ball scene began. Paw Prince Charming bowed. May I have this dance? Cinderpaws accepted and the music began. The pair danced and danced until dong, dong, dong. The clock struck midnight and Cinderpaws ran away. Splat tried to chase after her but tripped over his oversized costume. He smashed into plank the clock. He grabbed the curtain and ripped it down. Then everything went tumbling. Splat. The crowd gasped. What a complete mess. Splat was really worried. Mrs. Wimpy Dimple is going to be so mad at me. The audience erupted in laughter and cheering. Bravo, they shouted, encore. The show was a comedy hit. Mrs. Wimpy Dimple leaned in and whispered, Do you think you can do that again tomorrow, Splat? The end. All right, we're gonna make a magic wand. Um, your craft to go kit includes a wand. Um, I already have the star glued to the stick and a little ribbon just to fancy it up a bit. And you'll also have little gems. There's some gems in here. And a little bit of glitter. So what you'll need is some glue. I have some clear glue here. And something to color with. Um, I'm gonna use markers. Um, you can also use paints or crayons or colored pencils or what have you. Um, some of these gems have peel and stick backs. They don't stick all that well, so I suggest going ahead and gluing them to the wand. Um, I'm just going to take a few out here just to um, 
see what I have in here. I just kind of grabbed a handful and threw them in each package. Okay, now that I've separated the gems and the glitter, I'm gonna go ahead and color my wand. I've decided just to make mine yellow. But remember, you can do it any color you want. Um, so it's just gonna be a yellow wand. And when I'm done coloring it, um, we'll go ahead and glue the gems on. All right, the next part is we're gonna glue the gems on. Um, I'm just going to do a very simple, um, I'm just using the circle gems and I'm just gonna put them at the points and at the middle. So I'm just gonna put some dots on here. You can use as many or as few gems as you want. Any gems you don't use, you can save for other projects. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stick them on. And you can see I put too much glue on as I usually do, but that's okay because I'm gonna put glue around the outside to um, stick the glitter on. So it'll turn out nicely, I think. Oops. Okay, so I just liked it like that, pretty simple. And I'm just gonna go ahead and glue around the outside of this. Um, I'm using clear glue. You can use um, regular school glue. It should still dry clear. Um, I just happen to have the clear glue on hand. Try not to get any on the ribbon. And remember, I'm doing this my way with the um, glue along the edge. You can do it any way you'd like. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda put this in here and shake it up. Kinda make it less, less mess. And it's all coming out anyway, so it doesn't matter. My gems are kind of covered, but um, once the glue dries, we can wipe them off. But this is what my... Magic wand looks like. And I see there's some... Um, glue on the inside, so I'm just going to put some swirls, kind of veer into the skid here. Probably much easier to sprinkle it on than to shake it up the way I did. This is what mine looks like. and. Yours can look any way you like it. <laughs> 